What side of the road do you drive on here? Well, not this side, there's a car coming. It's not the good side of the road. I get confused if you're yeah. Scotland. You can't say on this side, but you're gonna die. I'm gonna die? And we don't want to see you die today, not in France. This is how we're going to make it illegal at Lansavir. Is this not the same truck he used to shift that 20 tons of heroin? I think that's how he's going to pay for his retirement. David, how's it going? Real good. David, Matt Shara. Hey, nice to meet you. Heard a lot about you. Thank you. Hey, David. Hey, bud. Well, that's a tender hug. When you mentioned a semi, I wasn't expecting anything this impressive. For a man of your age, you've got a mightily impressive semi. So, where are we going to brew in this? Come on, check it out. I'll yeah. show you. Oh, it's David. All right, gentlemen. David. Here we go. We got it gimbalized here, so you can roll the punches as you're going down the road. And you'll be driving the truck, David. Yeah, I'll drive. This looks like what we brewed on the basement to begin with. This is where we got started, so it'll be like being at home except for mobile. And is this a nicer setting to make beer than the basement, or would you go back to the basement instead? Well, my mother-in-law's not here, so that makes it better. So this won't emit any smell, noise, or odor that will draw attention to us. Maybe we need to pick up the speed so the aroma just wafts away. If you're doing one illegal thing, it doesn't matter if you do any more. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good philosophy for life, I think. Yeah. David, if this all goes wrong today, will you maybe build us a brew system in jail so we can make some pruno? Absolutely. <laughs> so we're going to be back here, starting from the law, with boiling liquid sloshing about, trying to make the ultimate Atlanta huge peach IPA. What could go wrong? Not a fucking thing. David, I think we're ready to start brewing. If you want to jump in the cab. Okay. And remember, don't break any road laws. We don't want to draw attention to ourselves. No problem. No problem. Totally I'm on in the it. streets. Uh, I, I, shh, I'm still hurt. Your mother in your case, but fine. Let's do this, gentlemen. He is the worst driver I know. Fuck. Let's see if we can mash in in this moving vehicle. Let's do it. What do we got? David hits the road, hauling his precious, if somewhat illegal, cargo. And all he needs to do is make great timer. Well, who didn't see that one coming? <laughs> and that's how you get it, boss. <laughs> Gentlemen. David. There was a set of stairs right there. I know, but I've done that for years now, and you never have to pay. Yeah, OK. <laughs> Here you are, Presto Jango. You have a cool ship, you have your ward, you have your cider. And this cool ship contraption now, connected to the gimbal, is pretty awesome. Looks like a real good bar right here. I'm going to go have a beer. See you soon, David. See you later. Great yeah, work, good David. Luck. Thank you. Good luck. So we've got to get this liquid, which is near boiling, into this cool ship and add the apple juice as well. Give it a go. Yeah, Simon, if I take charge of the wort here, Whoa. and if you look oh, after shit. the apple juice. Martin, if you could do your best. Yeah, I'll try and steady this. OK. Nice and steady as she goes. So what we're seeing in this cool ship is the actual collision of cider and beer happening before our very eyes. Look at that, Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> so the smell coming out of this cool ship's amazing. We've got the mosaic hops exploding out there, but we've got the lovely Kent apples in there as well. Oh, Damn it. What a place to do this as well, just going over, what's this called, Simon? This one's definitely Tower Bridge. Beside Westminster Abbey, Beside right? Beside Westminster Abbey. There you go. OK, that's the, <laughs> that's the kettle empty. I think we're all going to need to hold this to make sure it doesn't spill out. Yep. OK, guys, let's taste it. This is the first ever graph that's been made on the top of an open-top London bus. Cheers, guys. To London and to Westminster Abbey. This is like apples meets hops amplified. It's going to be awesome, guys. Feels like we're going over Tower Bridge. It's probably the best time to cheers and have a cider, right? Thanks for hanging out today. Cheers, Cheers, Cheers guys. Anyway, do you think you'd like to come and taste the wort that we've made so far? Oh, I'd love to. Great. James, Hi. it's rubbish through there. You won't like it. OK, I'm, I'm not <laughs> going through there. So what we have here is what we call wort. It's essentially a hot malt tea. So it's going to be quite sweet with some really nice malt flavours in there. Well, I'm going to smell it. I can't taste it at this point because I'm on duty. But you can't. Oh, but there's, there's no alcohol. It's completely non-alcoholic. No alcohol in here. No. Oh, perfect. Cheers. 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 Thank you. Oh, wow. That really is. It's like oval tea, but less milk. Yeah. So this is essentially how every beer begins. You just mix the malt with the hot water, and this is what you get. Amazing. And I think you're an instrumental part of brewing this first ever beer 
brew down an aeroplane. Unbelievable. I feel so privileged. We've got to finish this beer. You can maybe go and make the people in business class jealous with your glass of water. I certainly will. Thanks for your help. See you later. Thanks, Thank Susie. you. That is the engine of a Dreamliner at 40,000 feet. Okay, so we're at the boil now, it's super, super hot. I'm going to be very careful and hopefully there's no turbulence. James, if you want to add the first hops. So we've got the same blend of hops all the way through. This is some of our favourite American hops. We've got Centennial, Amarillo, and Simcoe. And the aroma coming off of this already is amazing. Huge pine, huge citrus, a lot of orange. Perfect. Okay, okay let's get this back on so we don't lose the heat. Lock and load. With the hop addition complete and the guys soaring over their native Scotland, it's time to add the citrus peels to spike the taste on the world's first beer brewed on a plane. So this is such a key ingredient in this beer as well. With these, we're going to bang in loads of fruit flavors and they're going to be super, super amplified. And just off a tiny bit, just the intensity of that punchy citrus flavor is off the charts. And I think that's why gin and tonics are so popular at altitude, because they have all that fruit flavor in there, that little acidic bite. So adding these peels is really going to explode in people's mouths. By the way, if you're watching this, sitting in a British Airways flight, and you haven't yet asked one of your cabin crew for a lovely Speedbird 100, do that now. All you need to do is press a little button beside you and a wonderful British Airways assistant will come and give you a beer. It'll be the best decision you've made today, maybe the best decision of your life. Do it. You know you want to. Let's do it. it smells incredible now. Next up, we've got some amazing Tahitian vanilla. Vanilla is one of the most incredible flavours known to man. In you go, baby. I think it's a good idea to kill the boil now that vanilla's just gone in to keep all that flavour in there and then add the final two ingredients. So we're going to add a little bit of lemon zest. Oh, that, that was quite good. Pass it to Martin. It's more appeal than a zest, so we'll go with it. <laughs> if you're in a position to criticise, you can take over, sir. I'm happy with my position here. <laughs> so the last ingredient is this amazing Nachino. Good pick, I love this liqueur. Adding Nocino will raise the ABV by boosting the total amount of fermentable sugars in the wort and will add deep earthiness to the flavor profile, along with spicy overtones from the green walnuts. It's like one of the most fun and most stupid days we've ever had making beer. Cheers, guys. Cheers. It's a really great flavor. It tastes really wintry, which is perfect when you're in an ice rink. Should we drink the rest or add some? No, fuck that. We'll drink this. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. So guys, remember my glove that went in fire? It's actually over there. Did you just throw a buckeye in there? That would be reckless, stupid and irresponsible, and I am none of those things. This is really tough. Just cycling is difficult, but I've got you and a mash ton behind me as well. I don't think I've had enough beer for this. Bonjour! Bonjour! Oh, the, the mash ton's going crazy. <laughs> What's the mash ton? Why is it doing that? Whoa! Be careful with the beer. I think it's going to be great. It's going to be mixed up nicely the whole way there. So it's instead of having a little agitator on the bottom, we've got James with some strong legs taking us to Chateau Neuf. What side of the road do you drive on here? Well, not this side, because there's a car coming. It's not the good side of the road. I get confused if from yeah. Scotland. You can't say on this side, but you're going to die. I'm going to die? And we don't want to see you die today. Not in France. You are so slow right now. I want this beer in Angoulême tonight. I'm going as fast as I can. I can give you some music right now. I would love some music. Fantastic. Oh, these vineyards are beautiful. It's amazing. Never so, mind the views. Worry about pushing 400 watts. <laughs> I'm worried about pushing one James watt. I'm going to give James some sustenance. Can you reach my hand? Yes. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. Thank you. I'm feeling it now. Woo! I'm whoa, fueled. It's filling. <laughs> oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. It's very fast. <laughs> what are you fast. doing? Too much speed. Slow down. Ah! The fast and the furious. Oh, no, no, no. It's crazy. While beer proves itself once again to be an excellent performance enhancer for cycling, the ultimate performance enhancer for cars remains fuel. Stop the car, the car's broken down. Oh, no. 
a cycling coach is out of action. So while Aurelian stays behind to fire his driver, James and Martin are left to the harrowing task of finishing their long journey without a guide. Pretty much like everything else they've ever done. Oh wait, nope, there's Aurelian. Quicker, faster! Ah! <laughs> what the hell are you doing, man? Oh, he's helping. Oh, yeah. I oh, now, now we're cooking on gas. 